Hi, welcome to our channel. Today is February 13th, and I'm going to talk about water glassing, which is an old technique for preserving eggs without using refrigeration. And this can only be done with eggs that have not been washed. So you can't do it with store most store eggs. I would think all store eggs. And I'm going to go running. Maria is going to put together and edit some video from exactly six months ago on August 13th. And when I come back, we're going to try the eggs. This year, we're, we are going to try preserving our chicken eggs so that we have more in the winter. What happens is each year, chickens will stop laying eggs or slow down laying eggs as it gets darker and colder. And sometimes ours completely stop from like December through February. And that's totally normal because we're up in Wyoming and it's cold and the days are short. So the amount of light is very short and chickens are not laying eggs at that time. And we don't like to put lights on our chickens in the winter because we feel like it's a good time for their bodies to rest. So what happens is we go without eggs and we don't want to because we don't want to buy store eggs. They're just not as good and they're not as healthy as free range happy hen eggs. So this year I'm going to try water glassing the eggs and this is an old time practice that has been used for hundreds of years, maybe thousands of years, I don't know. But you don't need a refrigerator to preserve eggs for at least eight months. Some people have done it for a couple years. But here that is not needed because chickens will start laying again in the spring. So we would just like to be able to eat some eggs and use them for baking and give them to our dogs and cook them for our dogs um, December until spring. So we're trying this water glassing. And what I did is yesterday I bought this hydrated lime at Home Depot. It's basically pickling lime, but if you buy pickling lime at the store or, or online, you are going to pay 10 times the price approximately. This was $14, 14 something at Home Depot. It's 50 pounds and I'm just going to need a small amount. Okay, you need one ounce by weight of hydrated lime per one quart of water. <laughs> so I already did the math here and I have a five gallon Home Depot bucket that I just bought and I rinsed out with the lid that I'll use. And that means that I need 10 ounces by weight of lime if I fill it halfway, which would be two and a half gallons water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's get the lime. And the lime will not hurt you, but it could kind of make your skin dry. So I have this apron on that my neighbor Bonnie made me several years ago. It's kind of stained because I use it anytime I might get stuff on me. And honestly, I'm just doing it because I'm on a video and I have work clothes on under there and I thought I put my nice apron on. Okay, so let's cut this open. The bag is very strong, thankfully. I didn't spill it carrying it across Home Depot. It's funny, the workers there said, She's definitely gonna need a cart and we got like two guys to help get it off and get a ladder. And I said, I can get it. And I just swung it over my back and I um, don't know why I'm saying all this, but they said, are you like hiding, a, burying a body with that? And no, I'm preserving eggs. I did not even know about that, okay? Anyways, that's not the best job, but I'm going to get 10 ounces out and I have the scale already inside. I will go in and weigh it and come back with 10 ounces. You really want to see this? <laughs> I'm not doing the best job here. I already took off the weight of the bowl. So when I get inside, I'll just take out, I'll put an extra in. It's not going to be this much. And I'll make sure to only leave 10 ounces. And I did Google, is this dangerous to animals or dogs? And it is not. It's probably not the healthiest thing to eat but I don't think they're going to want to eat lime. Yeah, they don't want to eat lime. But anyways, that's why we do have a lid on it when I add the water. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and take out what I need so I only have 10 ounces. I'm gonna try the lime. It's not a good thing. I'm just testing here. Yeah, they don't want that. 
Okay, we're back. And 10 ounces that I'll need for two and a half gallons is only that much. So I put the rest in here and I'll put that back in the bag. So you just need a very little amount. You may want to share your bag of lime with other neighbors, which is what I'm doing. I'm trying to share the lime and I have some other ideas for it too. But, um, okay, so I'm just going to, Maria, my daughter, fill this halfway, two and a half gallons. I'm just going to put that in there. And it's not good to breathe it in. Um, in large quantities, but it's not a dangerous substance. And as you can see, it's like a milky white. I'm just stirring it with a spatula. And that's it. I'm going to put a lid on it. And then starting tonight, when we collect, or every day, when we collect our eggs, we actually collect them in the morning and at night. Whenever I have an extra egg, that and make sure it's a clean egg, I'm just going to put it in there and we'll just see, you know, if there's too much water, I'll take some out. If I need to add more, I can just use that ratio again. I don't think I'll need to add more because I'm starting with quite a bit. And that's it. I'm also going to put the date on here. I'm going to say started and then that date. And I'm just going to use fresh eggs. So right when I collect them fresh, they go in there because why put them in the refrigerator and just start having them be older to begin with? So that's how we're going to do it. And we'll just fast forward. Next time I see you in this video, it will be winter. Okay, we're back to February 13th, same day as when the, this video started. And I'm going to open this bucket and we're going to cook the eggs. I put some olive oil. We cook on a fire all winter in the pan, in a cast iron pan. So when we reach in, I'm not sure what we have left because we actually um, have been eating these. But these have gone six months. And you know, the yolk's a little bit different, but it's so much better than when I, we've tried freezing the yolks. I'm going to cook a lot because we're going to share it with the guardians. They're cooking up just like regular eggs. And Marie and I are going to have some. And then we're going to surprise the guardians with a midday snack. And they're going to try some. getting about this much a week so we're back in the fresh eggs and you probably want to get a crock i know i want to get a crock not just a um a bucket and remember chickens are light sensitive so by putting a light on them a light bulb on them you're preventing them from sleeping pretty much so it's better to just let them be i think the way that god made them and when they're producing a lot of eggs here's the way you can store them up for when they're not Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.